What is going on you guys? We got another rapid disc review for you. We're going to be taking a look at some interesting discs here. We've got this one here called the Jello Shot, as you you probably tell why. These are from Tomahawk Specialty Discs. Uh, this guy came into Fly Factory. He makes these discs. He's from Santa Rosa Beach. Makes these discs out of silicone. They are PDJ approved. This one here has something I probably can't show on YouTube, but um, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll get into details on that a little bit later. On the disc, they have some pretty cool stamps, actually. We'll go ahead and just put the other one behind it. Here's the jello shot there. It tells you what it's supposed to be good for. Anti-roll, podium putt, sliver putt, bowstring hyzer, tomahawk, hit and stick. Now the other one, we're gonna have to put a little blur up. Uh, she's got her little boobies out. But this one is called the nine iron chip and putt. It's not as, it's not as gummy as the other one. It's a little bit more firm, but still definitely gummy. Okay, we're gonna give them a little light backhand toss. If you guys seen my elevation discs video, you guys know that these are not the kind of discs you wanna be putting any kind of torque on, any kind of power on. So we're gonna be giving them a nice little gentle just backhand approach shot. Uh, we're gonna throw the jello shot first. <laughs> I, mean, what, I mean, what else do you expect it to do really? Let's try to put this one on a little bit of hyzer. See if we can't like, pump, like spike it. There we go. Got a little flight out of it almost. I feel like these discs are only really gonna be good within like 150 feet and under, maybe just 100 feet. Like standstill, no reach back, just kind of tossing up there like a frisbee throw. For that, it's gonna be very good. Elevation, you guys are gonna love this disc. If you guys live on, you know, if you guys play disc golf on the side of a cliff, this is the disc you're gonna need, okay? You're gonna need this thing. And I think that's really the whole purpose of these discs. I don't really think they're meant to come out to the course and play a nine hole round here in Florida where it's dead flat, you know what I'm saying? We don't really need discs like this, to be honest, where I'm from. I would say the softest plastic in my bag is like a Proton Soft, K1 Soft, something like that. Yeah, we're gonna throw this thing around, show you guys some approach shots on a couple baskets. So I think another one of the main benefits for a disc like this is that you can throw it almost vertical, straight up and down through a gap like this AKA the sliver putt. And when it hits edge like this, you don't have to worry about it rolling away. If you took a firm putter and you threw it this way through a gap, it doesn't matter if it's rolling backwards or forwards, it's probably gonna catch edge and end up rolling away. So with this disc, you have no worries of that at all. You can just toss it up and it slick sticks right next to the basket. Look at this. <laughs> You might even go through the top of the basket on a putt like that. Now, another thing I've seen people do with I've, with the elevation discs, Koi specifically, um, I actually saw this in a tournament. Some guy was using them at, to putt with, and he wouldn't putt normally. He would sling it like a frisbee throw at the basket, and if it hit the cage, sometimes it would go in. It would get stuck in the cage, which, according to PDJ rules now, actually counts. I saw him do this one time in a tournament. It went all the way through and was in the basket. And we were all blown away because we all saw it happen for our own eyes, what he was trying to do. <laughs> so yeah, guy did this in the PDJ sanctioned event and it actually blew my mind because it counts, totally counts. So one thing these discs say they're good at is tomahawking. I mean, they're literally called tomahawk specialty discs. By the way, tomahawkproshop.com website doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. It says there's no domain with it. I guess the guy hasn't got the website up fully yet. Anyway, we're gonna to try to tomahawk these over that basket. See what happens. Get them stuck in a tree real quick. Look at that thing, how it hits and sits though. Here we go, let's try to get around that. It's kind of hard to aim that one because it's so floppy. <laughs> now sit, okay, it went a little far. To be honest, I'm pretty close. I would never throw in a, a tomahawk approach like that at like a 75 foot or 80 foot approach like this. But it is fun to know that you can, and the disc isn't gonna go very far. <clears throat> podium putt. Not sure exactly what a podium putt is. Maybe that's where I came down from the top. This one says it's good for LR putts. So I think that means long range putts. So we're gonna give it a go. It's terrible at long range putt, what do you mean? <laughs> just kidding, I'm just terrible at long range putt liver putt. If you guys want to go see my elevation disc video where I play a full round with floppy discs like this, I would definitely go check that out. But yeah, I don't know if these are ever going to actually go into production. If you're ever going to be able to get your hands on them, no idea. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me checking them out. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.